Hi, this is Lokesh Kumar from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today we are going to see the installation of PIM Supplier Portal of version 8.1. Regarding installation of PIM Supplier Portal, we are going to see the following topics installation of supplier portal database, installation of supplier portal server, and the configuration of supplier portal to integrate with PIM Core Server. Regarding agenda, we are going to see the prerequisite for supplier portal server installation, followed by installation of supplier portal database and server, and then the next topic will be the integration of supplier portal with the PIM server with the necessary configuration changes and at last we are going to see few additional points to be remembering there. As a part of prerequisites of supplier portal installation we need to make sure the user who installed the supplier portal need to be in local administrators group and the service user who starts the supplier portal should have the necessary permissions which is read and write on the supplier portal directories. Regarding first part which is installation of supplier portal database we have to go to the corresponding configuration.properties file of the installer and we have to make a uh, few configuration parameters values we have to make we have to change few necessary configuration parameter values related to the database and then we have to run the setup.cmd file to create the database schema and then we have to verify whether the schema is created or not let me show you on my local environment okay this is my local environment where i have downloaded the installer pim81 supplier portal.zip and I have to extract it like this then I will just copy it to the corresponding base directory of PIM where I already have the PIM server client and the other modules so once I copy it I'll just rename it to supply portal and under this there are many files and folders that you can see go to configuration and open the configuration.properties in notepad++ in the properties file you have to modify the database settings the first one is the database type our supplier portal supports ms sql server or the oracle in case it's a non-production environment you can go ahead with the h2 database as well so you have to change currently i want to install the database type or for my MS sql server so i use it as database type ms sql and this is a database name this is the schema name that will be created and then i give the database server local host i want to install the uh, database scheme on the local host uh, Microsoft SQL Server and the database port will be 1433 by default for the MS SQL Server in case you are using Oracle then it will be 1521 and uh, it creates the user called HSX with the password Hilo and this HSX will have the, all the privileges for the schema HSX next one is the database uh, directory where you want to have the uh, database files to be saved uh, I want to store it under a different location which is uh, uh, supply portal database directory so I'll be copying the corresponding um, path copying the corresponding path into the configuration properties file so here the main database files will be created in case you want to create uh, the log corresponding log files also in the same path then you have to use the same path in the database log directory and you can change the database size growth or the log file size growth based on the parameters and uh, let's keep it the to, let's keep it to default and in case if you're using oracle then you have to comment out these properties and uncomment out the corresponding oracle properties and change the corresponding values for that and these are the drivers which will be used based on the database type you use and just make sure in case it's there is an issue with connecting to database uh, or for example if you are using an oracle in case if you are using it a service name or aside and you are not able to connect just make sure the jdbc url is correct and these are the database settings that we need so save it and go back to database directory supplier portal database where you have a setup.cmd file just run the setup cmd file it will be creating the corresponding schema and the user so build is successful so if i verify on the sql server i don't have any hsx if i refresh hsx schema is created but with empty tables so by default it just creates only the schema and the corresponding user And the next one is installation of supplier portal server 
for this by default you have the supplier portal server you have to just start it but to have it integrated with the pim server you have to edit the corresponding configuration or properties file with few parameters related to pim core server and in case you want it to be integrated with other modules like media manager you have to modify those parameters as values as well after modifying you have to install the service directly if you install it will be created with a with a default name if not if you want to modify you can, there is a way to do that and then you have to start the service and access the supply portal url let me show you that so by default i want it to be integrated with the pim core server so i'll go to corresponding configuration properties again go scroll down to go to hpm settings so these are the settings that will be used to connect to PIM server. So first one is the PIM REST URI. Give the URI of the REST, HPM REST. By default, I have everything on local host. So I just put it local host and the port is 1502. And the next one web client is also same thing, host and port 1512. And what is the username and password it uses to communicate to PIM server? I have a user called REST, which is an internal user created in PIM rich client already with the password hyla. So I'll just use this and then save this in case if you want to use a media manager integrator then you have to use the corresponding media manager settings so you have to change the corresponding media manager settings but for now I let's stick to the integration with the PIMCO server so I just modify this save it go back to supplier portal let's install the service you can run the install.service.batch file which will create the which will install the service I look at the Informatica service so this is the service Informatica MDM Parthicity supplier portal in case if you want to rename it uh, while installing what you can do is you can run the configure.batch file where it where you can modify the service name and then once this is done just start the server supplier portal service so if you want to track the status of the whether it started or not you have to go through the logs but by default logs will not have any file because the configuration by default will point to a different directory so let's configure the logs as well so go back to supplier portal configuration directory log back dot xml file and open it in uh, notepad plus plus or any other text editor so by default the log files will be created under c informatica pim supplier portal i want it to be in a different directory because i have installed under different directory so go i'll just copy this uh, path of epim supplier portal logs i'll just replace if i'll just replace this one the corresponding path and then done save now i will restart the server again so that log files will be created in the new in the new directory which i have given Okay, let's wait for a minute. Okay, now hsn.log and performance log is created. Go to the hsx log, log. Scroll to the end. I see a statement called PIM supplier portal started. So this means supplier portal is able to start successfully. And uh, these warnings you can ignore because mail server is not enabled. And there is one more error, unknown host connection to IMM server which is media managers as we did not touch anything related to media manager settings. This is the reason it is unable to connect to media manager server which can be ignored. So this is the statement HPM connection could be established successful that means it is able to connect to PIMCO server successfully. Because I already have the PIMCO server up and running. Now we have to launch the Internet Explorer or any other browser to verify whether supplier portal is to launch supplier portal console by uh, you can get this supplier portal console URL in configuration dot properties itself just search for host address with root or address so this is the host address with root will specify the URL of the supplier portal in case if you want to modify based on the host name or if you modify the port in the tomcat and then you have to modify it in host app address with app root in configuration dot properties file i want to stick to the default host and port so i'll just use that copy paste in browser and hit enter so this is the supplier portal console 
now it will try to validate to the connection to supplier uh, pim core server again if it's successful then you can get the username and password text box if not the, this text box will not be available by default okay and the next one is configuration at pim core server for the backward communication from pim server to supplier portal for that you have to enable the supplier portal property corresponding integration in hsx.properties file and then you have to provide the url login user and password to communicate with supplier portal server and then we have to test with few suppliers whether the suppliers created at pim server is able to reflect in the supplier portal console or not let me show you that so to enable uh, the backward communication from pim server to supplier portal go back go to your pim server directory configuration and hpm and open the hsx.properties file if you want to enable the supplier portal integration you have to enable this hsx.enable property to true if it's false it will not in communicate with the PIM supplier portal in a backward communication then uh, apart from the hsx enable property you have to configure the hsx server where it's located the corresponding port it users and the rest URI as well for the sub, uh, for the supplier portal and login name password login name password should be the username and password which you created in the PIM PIM core that means you have to provide the you have to create an user in PIM core in rich client with the necessary ad permissions which is a portal admin he should have an admin privileges and you have to provide that corresponding user and password here by i have created a user called portal and i have given the uh, corresponding properties uh, corresponding privileges to this user as an admin user for example here i have a group called res group which is an admin user and i have given uh, uh, all the permissions which is action rights feed rights interface visibilities everything for this rest user so all the users available at the uh, pim core server side will be acting as a portal admins and you can use same credentials directly onto the supplier portal console and you should be able to log into the supplier portal console in case if you uh, in case the suppliers have to log in to the corresponding supplier portal then they cannot log in because those suppliers or supplier users are not in the spim core server in that case suppliers have to register using this button and then they have to log in with the corresponding email ids in case if, you, if in case if any user is not using any email id to log in then that means he is already present at the pim core server and he is a portal admin okay regarding test i have created two suppliers in the pim core rich client let's log on with this with the rest portal admin and see if the suppliers are available in the corresponding uh, uh, supplier portal console or not yeah see i see the supplier portals here uh, sorry uh, i see the suppliers here so that means the communication happens perfectly between the supplier portal and the pimco server and the additional points to remember is that you have to make sure that you start the servers in particular order this is very important because uh, when you have the integration between pimco server and supplier portal server you have to start the supplier portal server as a second one so at first prerequisite is that pimco server should be up and running and then once it is up and running then you have to start the supplier portal server so that it, it tries to communicate with the pimco server using rest call and then you get a username and password text box else you will not be able to get the username and password text box the second one is users login uh, users to log into supplier portal all the users in the spim core server or in the pim rich client will be your portal admins as i mentioned earlier any other suppliers who has to log into that they have to register with their email id and log in using the email id and the password they have set and their application other applications indication are, uh, if you want to integrate the other modules of pim core which is uh, which is a media manager then you have to enable the corresponding media manager properties in configuration dot properties of supplier portal and then you have to restart the server and for more information you have uh, installation configuration guide or the kbs on the network portal and yes we would like to hear from you please uh, provide the feedback through the twitter or the support videos of the thank you